Welcome to the Pimp My Shack DIY series. Today I'm creating a bin bag for Project Peter's Smile. And in a bit, I'm gonna take you through everything that you'll need to create this bin bag and all the steps to follow. So what you'll need for this DIY is some shredded mattress right here. You will need some fabric. I advise you to use the fabric that is easy to maintain, that is good wear and tear. I chose um, pleather because this material, you can clean it easily, you can use it inside and outside because I wanted uh, to give the family that flexibility. And then you will need some thread. I chose a color that matches the fabric because then um, your seams are seamless. <laughs> and then you'll need a cutting tool a scissor here um, as well as a pencil the reason why I need both the scissor and a pencil is because I'm gonna backstitch so I'm manually stitching this because the reality is not all of us own sewing machines so yeah here goes nothing <laughs> so first off you want to determine the size of your bin bag I decided to go for a square and I'm going for about a meter uh, by meter on each side so I flipped the material so this is actually the front side of the material and this is the flip side of it so I just took two meters and I flipped it all the way into the middle as you can see here give me a second oh, let me just try and get this guy sorted out real quick boom shakalaka right so I flipped the material and, and make sure all the corners are fit perfectly then um, I measured out a meter on each side so that I can have my square out then I use a ruler and a pencil just to mark out the line in which I'll be stitching now the reality is if you want your bean bag to be about a meter you need to just cut at least about a meter like let's say five centimeters extra or ten centimeters extra this just allows you to have space for your seam because you can always cut the excess material off so then you will also need a very wonderful thick needle to be able to pierce through this leather material because it is a little bit tough. I'm using um, the back stitch because it mimics <laughs> it mimics the way machines um, do their stitchings and I will show you step by step on how you can hand stitch your bean bag. So yeah, here goes nothing. So first off, what you want to do is, I've already started. So first off, you just, this material, this um, thread that I've used also, yeah, very important is to get the upholstery um, thread because this one is the tough one. It doesn't break easily, as you can see, it is tough. So I just I ran it through it once. You don't need to double it up unless you feel the need to reinforce it. So for the back stitch, you pretty much have your first stitch go through. So if this is where you start, then you just, go all the way through the back and bring it back so you use about let's say half a centimeter so that the spaces are not too wide um, then you stitch that all the way through then you just continue the same pattern trying to maintain the same size so that the stitch work is secure there you go Tan, tan, tan. This is very time consuming, so <laughs> I would advise you do this whilst watching your favorite series, you know, maybe, or perhaps maybe have some people that will tell you nice stories and stuff, because it can take quite a while if you want to do it properly. So I stitch it and then I pull it nicely back just to secure it, to make sure. So I'm left-handed, so this might probably look wrong for the right-handed people. Um, but I pull it back so ideally this is what you would want it to look like almost like it's machine stitched and if you look at it on the flip side it really looks wonderful and the reason why I flip it is eventually I'm gonna flip it inside out and then sew all the way through all the corners so I'm gonna sew this way through that way through all the way to this side and then I'm gonna leave a little space open flip it over and then start stuffing it with the shredded mattress stuff it and you can keep testing it for whether you want uh, medium support or soft support you don't want the 
it to be too soft, otherwise you'll disappear into your bean bag. So medium support is what I would recommend. So I have a whole lot of stitching to do and a whole lot of stuffing to do after this, but uh, I can't wait to show you guys how this baby is going to turn out. I need to take this and uh, go and binge watch Good Doctor, maybe, or I don't know, Good Girl, who knows? Whilst I'm stitching this at home and then stay tuned to see this in the reveal. So, I don't know why I gotta be so dramatic, but yeah, see you on the flip side. <laughs>